will be under the protection and the dominion of this power alliance. The gains have been substantial, both for ourselves and for you, the human power elite. <laughs> and for the first time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. I've got one that can see. We can't be the only ones who can see. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's got at the root of all our problems. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> and who are you, little fellow? You will never see it coming. And I'm predicting the first guy who uses a Second Amendment weapon to bring a drone down that's been hovering over his house is going to be a folk hero in this country. Nice. There is a signal broadcast every second of every day through our television sets. I'm just trying to warn you folks, the television is a giant LED weapon system. It's so advanced. They got a monkey farm in Bastrop, folks, that they do all sorts of testing on great apes, rhesus monkeys, the whole nine yards. And they go, oh, you didn't see this, and punch a button, and it'd be hundreds of monkeys with wires in their brains with television sets brainwashing them. All I ever have to do is be famous. People watch me, and they love me. You can have a little taste of that good life, too. Now, I know you want it. Hell, everybody does. Do it to your own kind. What's the threat? We all sell out every day. Might as well be on the winning team. The real men of the world have to stand up and say, I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Time to take a stand, boys. You know what? You got a little courage. Stand up for yourself. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. The Oscar winners give a press conference and how to buy a sailboat as Yes, as Alex was just saying, we are very concerned as all of you should be about what's happening with the FCC. It's all about control. We've seen the impulse to control content. We saw it for a long time with the Fairness Doctrine. Of course, they're trying to bring that back. We also saw it with this recent content survey where they expanded it out from broadcast media, even wanting to conduct this survey with newspapers, with print media, with other non-broadcasting media. This is about controlling content. And of course, there's other ways that you can control content other than just outright censorship. There's a lot of different ways they can apply that. They can uh, also do it with controlling the channels, controlling the pipes. And that's what we see happening with these mergers. That's what we see happening with the net neutrality. Nobody is asking, however, where the FCC got the power to regulate the Internet. They were out there to allocate frequencies on wireless communication to make sure that People were not riding over each other's own signals, so they would allocate frequency to different radio stations. That's what the FCC was created for. But now, with mission creep, they're going into regulating the Internet because that's the heart of free speech today. That's where you can get on and say what you want to do. That's where you can open up a blog. That's where you can create a new business. And that's why you've got not only civil liberties groups that are concerned about this, like the ACLU and the EFF, but you've also got venture capitalists who are very concerned about this because they see this as really the next step in consolidation. Sawing off the ladders on the runs of success so that only the people who are already at the top can climb farther up, like we see with the Comcast merger. They're going to cut off those rungs, those ladders, so you're not going to have new businesses be able to come in. That's why the venture capitalists are worried about this. It's the very opposite 
of a free market. A free market allows people to change places. It allows wealth to be redistributed. Let's go to a caller here. We got someone who called in on um, Build in Wisconsin. You called in about redistribution. I think you were talking about France. Go ahead. Yeah, very good show today, David. Uh, Alex is an authority on a lot of things. But as a traditional Catholic, I want to point out that uh, he is not familiar with what the revolution has done with inside the Catholic Church. I am a traditional Catholic, cradle Catholic. That means I've been a Catholic my entire life. And I look at what has happened since Vatican Council II. This was under so-called Pope John the 23rd, followed by Paul the 6th, followed by John uh, the... John hang on, Paul hang on, Bill. We got to come up to a break, but I want to hear what you have to say because this story that's at the top of Drudge today about the Pope wanting governments to redistribute wealth—that's a very important thing. When somebody with his power says that, we'll be right back. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Text GCN Live to 22828 or click on the banner at GCNlive.com. Enter by May 15th. You'll qualify to win a six-month supply of storable food from MyPatriotSupply.com. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. Attention America, within a little known government document is devastating information that could cost the United States its most valuable asset. My name is Jeff Opdyke, former reporter for the Wall Street Journal. I've uncovered shocking evidence within the details of document FT-900, revealing the largest cover-up of President Obama's career. This will have a substantial impact on our nation. Millions of Americans will fall into poverty overnight. A recent report from the Treasury Department said an event of this nature has, quote, the potential to be catastrophic. Within a matter of weeks, the way of life for millions of Americans will be destroyed and the standard of living will be like nothing this country has seen in nearly a century. To learn how you can protect yourself and your family from this government attack, visit www.obamasecret1.com. Again, that's www.obamasecret1.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we were just talking to Bill from Wisconsin. Again, we're talking about what's going on with the Pope calling for what he calls legitimate redistribution of wealth. I think it's an illegitimate redistribution of wealth. When you have the government stick a gun in somebody's face and do that, I think that Christian leaders ought to be calling for the voluntary redistribution of wealth. They ought to be calling for equality of opportunity. That'd be 
pushing back against this oligarchy that uh, the Federal Reserve chairman essentially admitted to having, which we all know is there. We've known that's been there for a long time. So let's, let's stop the oligarchy. Let's have freedom and freedom of opportunity. And let's not use government to stick a gun in somebody's face. Let's try to use Christ to bring about compassion in people so they want to help their fellow man, and they do it directly. Uh, Bill, you were talking about, you, you said you're a uh, cradle Catholic, somebody that's born in the Catholic Church, and uh, you were going to talk about the changes that you've seen. That's correct. Uh, and again, thank you, David. Uh, what happened in the Second Vatican Council was an infiltration by Masonic forces into the Church. The Church for 2,000 years had gone through martyrdom, persecution, and they were never able to uh, overturn it. But with this Masonic infiltration, they have gone in and changed the doctrine, the sacraments, and the apostolic succession of the church. So John the 23rd, uh, John Paul the second, Paul the sixth, and Francis are not actually popes. There are Catholics all over the world, and especially in the United States, pockets of resistance against what is going on. We meet with priests that are legitimately consecrated. We go by the old right. We do not follow this infiltration. So Pius XI, by the way, made the statement that no one, at at any time can be a true socialist and a Catholic. Hmm, so what we have here is an imposter in the seat of the Vatican. Yeah, if you and, don't have uh, if you don't have private property, what does it mean to say uh, thou shalt uh, not steal? Right? I mean, right. <laughs> you know, the government's already upheld, stolen it all. Previous popes have upheld private property. They've written it encyclicals against masonry, against atheistic communism. So what we have here is essentially the globalists of the, of a satanic nature have taken over the authority of the Catholic Church. The sea is vacant, hmm. and right now we are under persecution, just like uh, Christians are in Africa. Oh, that's interesting. And, and you know, I've seen people. I, I'm not a Catholic, so I didn't know much about the Jesuits, but I recently saw that people were saying they were surprised that a Jesuit would be a pope because they don't typically take offices and, and titles and that sort of thing. Is that correct? Or? That's, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And there's ample evidence that because of the changes in the way that priests are consecrated and ordained, that Francis may not even be a priest. So he is a true revolutionary. Look at his statements concerning, uh, I will not judge as Pope, even a priest who is a homosexual. They well, recruited. Uh. There's books written, okay? Goodbye, Good Men by Michael Rose mm -hmm. goes into how this new church recruited. Well, we're seeing it. We're seeing it, Bill. And every institution we see is changing so rapidly. It's hard to believe. It's not just technology. It's institutional change. We'll be right back. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency 
potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com.